This morning we continue our Eye on Innovation series on the increasing role science and technology play in our lives. We're learning how horseshoe crabs could play a key role in the development of a vaccine for the coronavirus. But scientists are increasingly concerned about their survival. Tom Hansen shows us the fight to save these extraordinary animals. Each year from Maine to Mexico, Guided by the moon, countless horseshoe crabs complete an annual journey older than the dinosaurs, one that is crucial in developing a COVID-19 vaccine. These animals have been on the planet for over 445 million years, give or take a week or two in there. This is a living fossil. Yes, it is. That's the male. Scientist John Tanacretti has dedicated his life to studying these so-called living fossils. Pretty active, very healthy, that's good. He runs the Center for Environmental Research and Coastal Oceans Monitoring Program at Malloy College, the largest horseshoe crab breeding lab in the Western Hemisphere. His team tracks 115 beaches around Long Island. They say the horseshoe crab population is in dire straits. How much time are we looking at here before we lose horseshoe crabs? I'd say the next 10 years, the next decade is of a critical concern. Critical concern, not just for the ecosystem, but also for modern medicine. Pharmaceutical companies have relied on these prehistoric creatures for decades, to the dismay of conservationists. It's all because of how their blue blood keeps them safe, a unique feature that helps scientists quickly detect deadly bacterial toxins. We recognize, and most people recognize, that this is a valuable resource. John Dubchek is an executive director at Charles River Laboratories. It really represents, you know, uh, lots of evolution. And the horseshoe crab blood is exquisitely sensitive to these endotoxin pyrogen. You've likely never heard of these dangerous toxins, but it all started with a professor at Johns Hopkins University named Dr. Frederick Bang. In 1956, he observed a horseshoe crab become naturally infected with Vibrio bacteria and then witnessed the crab's blood actually clotting around that bacteria. When they're in the shallow water, they're awash of these bacteria. So if they get injured, the amoebocytes recognize these bacteria. They recognize it as, as an opportunity of infection, so they clot. That reaction became the basis for this test, which checks for bacterial contamination in any medical product that goes into the body before the manufacturer ships them out, including IV drugs, heart valves, and yes, vaccines. We have a 450 million year old creature that for the last 45 years has improved the safety of medicines for humans and animals. In the U.S., limits have been put on how many horseshoe crabs can be harvested each year. And while the humble horseshoe crab cells can be removed with no apparent harm to the creatures, studies show biomedical harvesting, overfishing for bait collection, and coastal development are causing a drop in the population, raising major questions about their survival. There is a public concern, a real concern about these animals that we lose their habitat or we lose them coming to shore once you lose them, they're gone. Extinction is forever. But with a global push for a COVID-19 vaccine underway, horseshoe crabs are once again in the spotlight, which Tana Credi hopes will help conservation efforts. If enough of people can hear about it and talk to it, that helps in getting the attention. This has been going on long before a pandemic as issues and concerns for these animals and, and our health. So I'm optimistic. Uh, you have to be. <laughs> For CBS This Morning, Tom Hansen, West Sayville, New York.